We got so much confusion and it's very sad. We got the confusion regarding mistaking emotionalism for the move of God. The real move of God will give you. So these are some words that I've received from the Lord. They can be beneficial to you. Pray about it. Ask the Lord that these words are also for you. If the Holy Spirit confirms in your spirit, then it can be useful to you too. So the first one, try to reach them for the Lord. After a few times, let them go. There is a reason why the unequal yoke is emphasized in scripture. Okay, here's another one. The issue is that when people hear the spiritual realm, they perceive it as a form of fiction. But why is it that when we talk about AI, it's held at a high regard? AI was fiction decades ago, but here we are. The spiritual realm has always been. The issue is the lack of the childlike faith Jesus said we should have. Otherwise, we can't inherit the kingdom of God. Why? Because if the childlike faith in God isn't there, then you'll perceive everything like the carnal person does. as fiction. One moves the mountains and casts out devils and allows the manifestation of the hand of God upon creation. Childlike faith. The devil has made the spiritual things of God seem like fiction. That's how you know to ask God to remove the scales from your eyes so that you can see in the spirit. When you perceive spiritual things as fiction, that's why Jesus didn't do miracles in Capernaum. And that's why the disciples couldn't cast out the different type of demon. Their lack or even their faith was not even the size of a mustard seed. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God with faith and humility like a child will not enter it at all. And that is Luke chapter 18 verse 17. Here's another one. An essential trait every Christian leader must have, worship team and in general. Question the lack of fire for the Lord. When you discern a lack of fire within your team, ask the Lord to reveal it. It will slow down your ministry and if not dealt with at some point, it will affect the fruit your team is producing. The Lord prunes when necessary. Do so if the Lord leads you to do it. You lose out a lot if you ignore the Lord's leading to sit someone down who might be an apple that's messing up other apples. The lack of fire for the Lord is never good. Find the faulty fuse and when you walk with the Lord and you have fire, it's easy to spot who is a little. I'm not talking emotion. You can't see spiritual fruit. Those who can see in the spirit understand. Here's another one. It is human nature to want what you don't have, no matter how much you do have. You'll be a lot happier when you focus on what God has given you rather than when you desire your neighbor's possessions. Read Ecclesiastes. Alright, this next one is a strong one. It says, I'm not trying to invalidate your experiences with God, but when it's real, it sticks and it doesn't go away after you wake up the next day. You desire to set a monument so you'd remember Jesus. Not church culture or a church event, but your solo story with Jesus. Like Jacob placed a monument when God promised him protection and victory. Every time Jacob looked at the monument, he remembered God's faithfulness. Revival is not a concert. It's not a popular church event. It's not a conference. True revival means you're spiritually revived and awake to where you, by yourself, have a strong love for Jesus. It burns in your heart like the people that Jesus encountered after he resurrected had their hearts burning when Jesus was speaking to them and they had not even recognized him. Real moments with Jesus have a very strong impact on your personality. Individually, your character changes, sin irritates you, you hate your sin. You begin to see through the lens of Christ and not just in love, but in desire for righteousness. We got so much confusion and it's very sad. We got the confusion regarding mistaking emotionalism for the move of God. The real move of God will give you a desire to put aside your will for His. The real move of God leads you to put yourself away and follow Him. Hype and emotion doesn't always mean it's the Holy Spirit. Go by the fruit. Experiences with the Holy Spirit can be emotional, but getting emotional doesn't always mean it is. If you desire to have more of Him and less of you to where you want to pick up your cross, deny yourself and follow Him, then you can be sure it's a genuine encounter. Here's another one. Sobering thought. But it's the truth of the word. The gospel is the good news because it brings the news of the opportunity to have your sins wiped out and gives your soul a chance to make it to heaven. Your sins get blotted out and they're not held against you when you repent and turn to Jesus and serve him with your life. His blood paid for you. God didn't have to, but out of love for you, his creation gave Christ as a ransom for you. To reject the gospel and the good news, you're then still liable for your sin. And one little speck of impurity is enough to disqualify you from heaven. 
We all need to take the gifts Jesus left for us. Without it, nothing will be okay after you pass away. But God's judgment and condemnation awaits those that have denied Christ because they weren't ready. No one ever is. He makes you into who you think you will never be ready and surrendered. It just takes faith in God and humility before God to surrender it all. You can always repent and turn to God until you no longer can. Blessed are those that heed the word of the Lord. Even the fiercest ocean fears God. So why don't we? When people say pray for, then forget all about God or put Him on the back seat, things will be a lot better if you sincerely decide to devote to Him. He will take care of everything. Not always prosperity, but you will have Him. A fruit of it is miraculous supernatural power by your faith. Trust in Him. Not the reason, but a perk that comes with being one of His. And then we got Luke 17, 11 to 20 to support the, the word. Sick people went to Jesus and they begged him for healing. And all ten were healed by Jesus, but only one came back to thank and glorify God. Jesus asked for the other nine, but after they got what they wanted, they were nowhere to be found. Don't be like the nine. Pray for the live godless lives. Reference is Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 20. Here's a strong one. Ask the Lord to open your eyes. They want you to fill their seats because they want your tithes. Yet they feed you spiritual junk food when they know better. The tickling of ears for your cash. Heartbreaking. But Jesus said, Then the Lord said to him, You Pharisees are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside you are filthy, full of greed and wickedness. That is Luke chapter 11 verse 39. And the rest of the word goes like this. They might have a full house on Sundays, but the truth is avoided because they don't want to offend you and lose your money. And God sees this house turn into a den of thieves. Don't partake. If you feel relief to leave, this is your sign. Follow him, not the crowd. Heartbreaking to see people who are supposed to represent Jesus are charlatans who make him look money hungry and take away the genuineness, saying, you gotta look good, but Jesus desires a realness from you. God wants you to be real, not fake it so others can see how holy and spiritual you are. Run from there and seek the Lord and he will make your path straight. Don't fall for the urine rebellion when it's God himself giving you the discernment. Be wise. It is not rebellion when you're for righteousness in the midst of compromise. Otherwise, Jesus would have been a rebellion for flipping tables and Paul would have been a rebellion for saying, you foolish Galatians. This was prophetic. It says, God will not let you fall asleep because he will keep you up so you can be alert. That way when he comes like a thief, you will be ready. The Lord will sometimes keep you up to give you this illustration that Jesus spoke about in his word. Like a thief in the night that shows up unannounced, he will return. So be ready. Now this next word is really strong. The hardest thing about preaching the gospel isn't telling people about Jesus. The hardest thing is convincing people who think they know him that they are actually lost. Wow. This is a good word. Yes, we all have free will. But one of the ways that you know for sure that Christ lives in you is when you consciously and willingly decide to put away your free will to submit to his will. It will feel like a burden because you will have a desire to make Jesus proud. Jesus said, take upon my yoke for my burden is light. Wow. Here's another one. The gospel is your invitation to heaven. You can choose to receive it, likewise reject it. By denying Christ, not just in words, but declining to follow him and his ways, in other words, repenting from all sin and turning to God, denying yourself, picking up your cross and following Him. If you decline that, you're declining the invitation to heaven. Everyone has a right to receive or deny the gospel. And it's an individual right available to absolutely everybody. To respond and accept the gospel is you accepting the invite to heaven. There is no other way. Reference John 14.6 Here's another one. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive a different lens. You will no longer see like you used to before Christ. That's why not everyone can perceive or understand spiritual things. The lens is different and the Holy Spirit is the one who gives you understanding of spiritual things. So you receive a different lens and God translates riddles and dark speeches so you'd get it. So you'd get it. Here's a strong one. It doesn't matter what you were taught regarding God if it does not correlate with His character and heart shown in scriptures. Taking the full counsel of God the love as well as the fear and reverence because he is holy. Amen. Here's another one. When you pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit prays through you. You will not understand what you are saying, but the Holy Spirit is interceding on your behalf to God the Father. 
For reference, Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Here's one. Being for righteousness when there's compromise is not rebellion. Here's a strong one. Once someone begins to realize the realness of the judgment of God, you will begin to understand the fear of the Lord, which leads to wisdom, godly wisdom. Here's a strong one for everyone that thinks that Christians are judgmental. If we were to love like Jesus loved without judging, like many people say, then Jesus would have simply affirmed our sin instead of paying the price for our sins on the cross. That sin you're trying to affirm cost Jesus' life. If we were to be at peace with sin, then God would have had no point in even sending Jesus to pay for everyone's sin and repentance will not be necessary. The deception is sadly at a high level. The ones defending sin are the defenseless ones against sin on Judgment Day. Read the Bible for yourself. It's strong and it is reality. Alright, so this is the last one for this video. I'll make another video with more godly advice that I felt the Lord has inspired me to go ahead and release. And I wanted to share it with you all. Alright, so last one. It says here, Rejecting Christ does not have to do with your words. The rejection of Christ begins in the heart and is the root. The way you live, if it's carnal and with a lack of conviction of sin, that's just the outward appearance of the root. In other words, a branch of what's in there. Is there a fruit of the Holy Spirit bringing you to love Jesus more? No. Is it the biblical? Is it the real version of Jesus? Again, this is godly wisdom that I feel the Holy Spirit is still to me. All of it is scriptural. I try to fact check every word that I feel the Lord gave me with the word. That way, I know for sure that it's God speaking to me. If you found this helpful, go ahead and share with a friend. Subscribe, hit that bell notification every time we release the video. Go check out the latest video that I've made reviewing the book of Enoch. If you want to go ahead and sow into the ministry, the ways to support is in the comments. Enjoy the videos.